Halloween isn't until next Thursday. Kids and families may be out and about this weekend, and TxDOT wants everyone to get home safely. Here with some advice is TxDOT's Jennifer Wright. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Nicole. This weekend, expect parties and trunk and treats ahead of Thursday night's trick-or-treating. Please watch for pedestrians on these nights when darkness descends early. Pedestrians need to be extra vigilant too, and here's how. The night is dark and full of terrors and free candy. Excitement runs as high as everyone's blood sugar and little ghouls and goblins can try to get ahead of their parental units. The horror. Drivers hurry from place to place, overindulge at parties, turning into zombies behind the wheel. It will be up to both drivers and trick-or-treaters to use caution these nights. Drivers, slow down. Put away phones and tell everyone in the car you need to keep your eyeballs on the road and focus on driving. Watch out for children of the candy corn who may be in the street. Keep a clean windshield to help cut down on ghostly glare. Remember that as soon as you step out of your car, you're a pedestrian. Pedestrians, make yourself more visible to motorists by carrying a flashlight, glow sticks, and wearing reflective clothing. Walk on sidewalks, cross at crosswalks, or at corners. Expect drivers may not see you, so wait for them to pass, even if you have the right of way. And just like Mummy said, always look both ways before you cross a street. Talking or texting while walking is a no-no, especially when escorting little ones. For those out to party, plan while you can for a sober ride home before the Halloween festivities begin, or you may be in for a rocky horror of a night. Use a ride share, designate a sober driver, and even if you're just attending a neighborhood party, know that walking impaired can be just as dangerous as drunk driving. Well, thanks for the tips, and we will keep them in mind, so thank you. What do we have to be afraid of in terms of closures next week? Well, not too scary as, pro as project closures next week. In fact, we've actually canceled any nighttime closures on Halloween. But Monday night, I-10 West will be closed at Vinton, detouring traffic to North Desert through the Vinton intersection and then back onto the freeway. The creepiest closure happens next Friday with the daytime closure of the Artcraft exit from I-10 West. A closed exit really makes people howl. You'll want to exit all the way back at Mesa. Tricky. To stay up to date on closures planned and unplanned, follow us on X at text.elp. I love what you did there. We'll <laughs> post all these closures on our website at kvie.com and also on the KVIA Weather and Traffic app. Jennifer, thanks so much for being here and have a great weekend. Thank you, Nicole. You too. Thank you.